Hello Bluetooth, I'm the one and only Assbound Glacial, and I'm here bringing you another Minecraft Quickie. In this episode, I'm going to show you four different designs for several things you could do with pistons. Uh, first design, well, this is a pulse extender. So basically you have a hopper, right, that decides how many items go in and out. So let's take an output right here, right, let's press the button. As you can see, the button has stopped, but look at it, there's still an output, and as long as, yeah, what the, sorry about that, I derp, apparently you can't put a block there, but yeah, it just transfers items back and forth, and as soon as it's done transferring it, it'll turn off, and as for this one, this one's just a really long timer, so all you have to do is have both of them as sticky pistons, and we'll just keep them going back and forth, if this one's just a regular piston, it'll stop as a pulse extender, same design, same concept, Right. Uh, right now I have a uh, time set day thing in there, so it sets the time today. This one, as you can see, is a butt switch. So very simple. You can have the output coming out of here, there, here, there as well. Um, this is the smallest butt switch I've seen. It's not just a butt switch though. It's actually a. I don't know what they're called, but. It's when the entity ID of a block changes, this thing will detect it as well, so the input's right here. You could also do uh, redstone, uh, where is it? Yeah, see, redstone further away, when it just changes, I believe you could also place it. No? Okay, never mind. Uh, that's, uh, apparently that works, okay. But yeah, basically all it is is there's an item inside the chest. And as soon as, you know, since it's powered, you know, it's powering there, but as soon as you update this comparator, since the comparator is not powered, it will realize that it's not supposed to be powering this redstone, making it so this block retracts, repowering the comparator since, you know, the chest is, you know, available to be accessed again. If you can't access the chest, the comparator can't take an output of it, so that's how that one works. Just a simple bud. And that is it for the tutorial. If you guys liked the video, please like, rate, comment, subscribe. Remember, I do f run off you guys' feedback, as it is very important to me since I am running out of ideas. Since right now I'm just showing my freaking redstone world. But yeah, TTYL, talk to you guys next time. Bye.